Happy Independence Day or 4th of July to all who celebrate it. And since it's the 4th of July, every American is going insane with fireworks. So I've decided to give you guys this firework module that a lot of people have wanted in their games. You can configure the colors, the amount of fireworks you want, and everything like that. So the first link in the description is to get this firework module and it also comes with the particles. So when you first insert it into your game, it looks like this firework system. You have your particles and you have the main thing. So we are going to drag these two things into our replicated storage, delete our model, and in our fireworks, you might want to change a few things. That is being where you want to get your particles. So right here, I have a variable called firework assets. This was for my other game. So you would want to put in here like replicated storage, boy for child, particles and rename this to particles and rename everything else uh, to particles as well and then this play fireworks thing which is supposed to be a remote event i will get into in just a second this is for sending a remote event call to the client from the server to play fireworks because this is client-sided fireworks because these fireworks are meant for achievement uh you know feedback stuff like that down here is all the colors you put in. So I have basically every color here of the rainbow. You can configure this to be uh, red, white, and blue, or whatever you want. Here you can uh, put in your colors. And then a function to make the firework, make it work and all that. And then the main thing to call it. So very, very basic, very simple. And by the way, if you guys want to control the amount of fireworks, this explosion particle emit with 25 in it, is how you can basically spawn however many sparkles in the explosion and you can change a uh, number of fireworks here um, if you want to raise it but this is a random value between four and six same thing with the amount of time it takes to explode and the height the firework goes so very customizable so I inserted a local script into my starter player scripts and we can actually start using this. So first thing, we are going to get our firework module just like this. And then to make this work, we're going to use user input service. So basically when we press a key, it'll make the fireworks work. So we're going to get user input service. And then when you call the function fireworks, play fireworks, we can send in an object. So you not only can play fireworks from your player, but you can also play fireworks on whatever object you put in here. But you can't pass in the actual object because this is a C-frame. So if we wanted to play it on our character's head, we would say game.players.localplayer.character.head and it would spawn on our character. And then to actually make this work, when we press something, we're going to say user input service dot input began, and then connect, and we're going to get our input, and then game processed event. All right, and then we're going to say if game processed event, then we're going to return, which means that we are typing in chat, and we don't want uh, to have the fireworks play when we are typing in chat. And then we're going to check our, our key code, so input. Dot key code is equal equal to enum dot key code and we're gonna say like Q or something like that then so this is checking uh, if we have pressed the Q key and then we can just drag copy this and then put it back down here so now we are in our game and we press Q our fireworks play just like this and we keep pressing it it looks really nice and it plays on our character so to help you guys see what all you can do with this, I'm going to set the colors of our fireworks to be a red color, a white color, and also a blue color for red, white, and blue for the 4th of July. So we have set our colors, and let's say we wanted maybe more fireworks, then we would up this value here. Let's say we wanted maybe 10 to a randomize maybe 15 fireworks, we can do that here. And maybe we want more sparkles in our firework. Then I'm going to put in maybe 45. We're going to have to play around with that. But I think the time I have here in the height will work for right now. So now that we are back into our game, we can see our new configurations. It's red, white, and blue sparkles. There are more sparkles and uh, more fireworks, as we can see here. 
And if you guys think these sparkles look too bright or something like that, you can go to the explosion and change the light emission so that it is not as bright. So I'm going to set it to 0 0.5 and we can try it out again. And that actually looks a little bit better than it being really bright. So you can play around with this to see whichever light emission fits your color the best. But I think this looks pretty nice for our fireworks. Maybe a little bit higher if we want a glow. But I think this is a pretty good for our fireworks. Now we are going to talk about this play fireworks thing that we have right here. And what we will be able to do with this remote event called play fireworks is we will be able to call this effect from a server side script because right now we can only do it from client side. So we're going to send uh, a call over to the client and then we can play our fireworks. So to actually set this up, I'm probably just going to make a new folder and you could call it maybe something like assets or remotes or something like that. And I'm going to put in a remote event here and I'm going to call it play fireworks just as I already had. And then we can change the path to the fireworks here. So probably now that I'm thinking about it, I think the best way to handle this is to have this in another local script. So I'm going to get rid of this and we're going to handle all this in another server script. So then when we have everything here, we can say play fireworks dot on client event and then run everything here like play fireworks or uh, actually need to get the module fireworks here and say fireworks and then play fireworks. And then even from the server, we can send in an object to play that position on. All right. Uh, maybe we could all say C frame and we pass in the C frame here uh, to place those fireworks. And then, for example, from a server script, we can get that remote event and then we can say play fireworks and then fire client and then send in our information. Well, we would have to put in our player and then our C frame here just like that. And by the way, guys, I have just now noticed you don't want to pass in the C frame, but you want to pass in the object to play fireworks because back here, when we make the firework, we are setting where we are getting the object on C frame and not just the C frame. So watch out for that. If you want to change that, then you can. You can just put in C frame here and change everything to just have the C frame. But I have the object and also getting the C frame of it. So just to show off that the server and client actually work together in this, I am going to have it so when the player clicks on the base plate, then we are going to play the fireworks and we're going to do this from the server. So game.workspace.baseplate.clickdetector.mouse click and we can get the player from this and then play fireworks. And we're going to say fire client pass in our player and then our object which will be game dot workspace or we, we can just do the player player dot character dot head so now mind you we are trying to do the effect from the server when we click the base plate everything works fine and we now have server and client communication for our fireworks so I think I've covered about everything you can do with this module. If you want to change the spacing, you can do that here with this RNG next number and negative four and four. That decides where the particles are placed around the object. You can change that. You can, once again, the number of fireworks you want, the amount of sparkles, uh, your colors, your, just everything. It's very customizable. And I hope you guys have fun working with this firework system. And yeah, guys, this was today's video. If you guys did learn something from this video or you guys enjoyed this video, please hit the like button and the subscribe button. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.